So I'm pretty stoked I got this book Hiroshi sent me. Check it out. It's got a seven ply cardboard cover on it. Pretty rad, huh? Pretty rad, yeah. This is Hiroshi's book. He sent it to me a while back. Got a hot little arigato message. But in this book is this piece from the sculpture. There we go. Screaming my foot. So he did this in 2009. He was on his way to being established at that point in the art world. And his vision of art was broken skateboards, sculpted into this stuff. But the rad thing that he had the vision all those years ago to document these things and to take good photographs of them all the way back at the start of it. Amazing. So we're just going to leave this here, little piece of inspiration in what we're working on, right? Yeah, so I took this board, I marked out a hole, I decided I was going to make the foot be its own pedestal and continue on and we can see a little bit of the shadow of the foot down here, right? So this piece then is going to sit in here. I cut it out with a combination of a, a jigsaw, a bandsaw, a drum sander, a belt sander, hand sandpaper, pump sleeve, you know, a little bit of everything, you know? Just worked it in, finessed it up, really protecting the graphic and the gloss and the sheen of the graphic and then going to have the texture like the broken wood that's not painted, right? And the texture of the top of the foot where it's really rough and not sanded smooth. But I rounded the back side of the foot with the router and the sander to make it be more skateboard-like. So, trying to figure out how to do something I never did. I just got to glue the pedestal together with a part, let it dry, and it's done. Pretty stoked in how it came out. Got a good look to it, right? Look at the way the shadow below the foot continues onto the board just slightly. Really cool. Little mark from my jigsaw. Oops. This is only my first one. I'm not perfect, but at least I got the willingness to try.